Back in the day, Japanese automakers were the first to popularize hybrid electric hydrogen fuel cell and mass market all electric cars. Despite the fact that through the years their domination has subsided, the land of the rising sun still manufactures promising EVs in 2020 and has quite an impressive selection lined up for the upcoming years. In today's episode, we'll cover in detail all of the modern Japanese electric cars and most intriguing concepts, listing their prices, electric ranges, and other available specifications. Subscribe to the channel if you're a fan of electric vehicles, and let's get technical! Citing the in-house research about questionable environmental friendliness of electric cars with massive batteries when compared to efficient diesel engines, Mazda chose to move forward with smaller packs. Their first electric crossover is juiced by a 35.5 kilowatt-hour battery good for 125 miles and is oriented on a mid-range city commute. The MX-30 is built over the new Sky Active vehicle architecture with a single 143 horsepower motor and size-wise it resembles the new CX-30. This crossover will be attracting buyers with unique freestyle doors, an 8-way adjustable driver's seat, a floating center console, a head-up display, and a reasonable price tag estimated at $35,000 before incentives. Nissan has been promising an electric SUV for quite a while now, so we can assume that the Aria concept previews an actual future vehicle from the brand. Of course, it is built on a fully electric platform with a floor-mounted battery and new E-Force dual-motor all-wheel drive system. The expected range reaches 300 miles while the power and torque of the drivetrain are not disclosed. The Aria also promises decent performance characteristics, accelerating to 60 in less than 5 seconds. On the outside, the model has evolved Nissan styling and LED lighting that incorporates the V-Motion grill pattern into the front shield. We rarely see conceptual designs make it to production, but the Honda E keeps the Neo Retro looks which were first revealed in 2017 and makes those the major selling point. Additionally, the EV mirrors the unorthodox exterior in the cabin by featuring progressive materials, an innovative display that spans across the entire dashboard and incorporates the instrument cluster and infotainment plus the rear view mirrors are replaced with a tandem of cameras and additional displays. The five-door hatch offers perfect 50-50 weight distribution and rear wheel drive, so it should be a blast driving around town. It gets two power outputs, 134 and 150 horses, but only one battery option with 137 miles of driving. Your feedback about this episode is absolutely crucial, so review the entire lineup and let us know what is your favorite entry in the comments below. Like this video and let's get back to awesome EVs. No matter how strongly Toyota resists the electrification wave, they had to eventually bow down to the trend and quietly reveal the electric version of their compact crossover Lexus UX. Since the EV dedicated platform is still under development, this is basically a retrofitted internal combustion version of the car, hence the rather unimpressive electric characteristics. 
The single motor setup tops out at 204 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque, while the 54-kilowatt-hour battery won't exceed 178 miles on a charge. For now, this EV will be sold exclusively in China, with the probable expansion to the Japanese and European markets that can tolerate the reduced range. When Aspark had first unveiled the exotic Owl hypercar, they immediately got media attention for the unorthodox beaky front end and impressive acceleration parameters. Two years later, the ambitious engineers behind the Japanese startup are returning with a bang. They claim to have quadrupled the previously announced technical characteristics, so four independent motors of the Aspark creation now make 2,012 horsepower and 1,475 pound-feet of torque. Once it hits the production lines, these insane numbers will make it the world's most powerful serial automobile. Moreover, the 1.69 second 0 to 60 acceleration will snatch the title of the quickest model as well. Only 50 Owls will be manufactured, insanely priced at $3.2 million each. No matter how favorable the initial reveal of the Sony Vision S was, the Japanese tech giant is adamant about not going forward with the production model. Pity, since their first try is definitely better than some modern EVs produced by legacy car makers. The exterior design of this four-door sedan was inspired by the Porsche Taycan and Teslas. The Vision S moonroof spans across the entire cabin and the rearview mirrors are replaced with cameras. Expectedly, it rides on the skateboard platform with a 536 horsepower dual motor all-wheel drive powertrain. The occupants of the vehicle are surrounded by countless screens front and back, while 33 external cameras and sensors analyze the driving conditions and create a safety cocoon around the car. It's often forgotten, but before the Tesla Model 3 success story, the first generation of Nissan Leaf was dominating electric vehicle sales all over the globe. After its recent upgrade and the shift towards less quirky looks, the Leaf 2.0 managed to stay popular among buyers mostly due to the practical hatchback design, low $30,000 price tag, and incentives eligibility. There are three trim levels, S, SV, and SL, which are additionally sold in the plus configurations. The latter increases the battery capacity from 40 kilowatt hour to 62 and gets a punchier 214 horsepower motor. The Leaf is good for 150 or 226 miles, benefits from one pedal driving and gets standard smartphone compatibility and safety tech.
Under the current executive management, it will be a long time until we see a highly specified electric car from the Toyota Corporation, so for now we can only observe their concept vehicles. The Lexus LF30 is a lounge on wheels that at the same time has rather compact dimensions. Its platform is represented by an all-new system comprised of a 110 kilowatt hour battery and four motors that power each wheel independently. The premium EV implements gullwing doors, futuristic four-seat layout, windows with variable opacity for the extra privacy of the passengers, and a Skygate display window with augmented reality feature. The LF300 has 278 miles of range and will get to 60 miles an hour in 3.8 seconds, courtesy of a 544 horsepower powertrain. The QX Inspiration concept serves as a sneak peek at the all-electric future of Infiniti. Designed for four passengers with Japanese heritage in mind, the model has modern exterior styling with elements like cameras instead of side mirrors and welcoming coach doors. The interior of the QX Inspiration houses swiveling sporty front seats, comfortable rear bench which looks more like a couch, and a dashboard made entirely of high-resolution screens. Performance-wise, not many details are given except the promise of a potent powertrain featuring dual motors and an intelligent all-wheel drive. The SUV is also expected to have all kinds of driver assistance and autonomous driving tech. Thank you for visiting our channel, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like button and don't think twice about watching more episodes about electric vehicles. The links are waiting for you on the screen. See you later.